RBO's Emacs is every SP Pro installer's dream. You can connect an Emacs to an SP Pro inverter and view it anywhere in the world through the internet. You just plug it in, you can go to one, two or three SP Pro inverters, you can set it up really easily and then you're away. Here's how it's installed. You can fit the 240 volt plug pack to a power point or use the 12 volt adapter by fitting this small socket here across to this power supply connection plug it in, you get a few USB socket out which powers the Emacs it plugs into the side to give it 5 volts you plug in the USB cable to the SP Pro inverter which gives you data you plug that USB cable into the Emacs so that you can get the data and then you plug into the customer's ADSL router or some other kind of Ethernet socket. The simple test is if a laptop can surf the web on the Ethernet cable then the system will work. That's the entire setup. Next I'll show you how you install it. Firstly you have to log into myrbo.com.au you'll be given an email and a password to do that. You go to help, download and you download a program called proxy that will appear here in your downloads, you install that. Then you go to Selectronic, you download the latest version of SP-Link, here it is here, then you install that. Once you've installed both of those programs, you simply double click on SP-Link, the new version you've installed, and you'll end up with a window just like you normally do. The difference is in the top left, when you click on File, you'll have a couple of extra options. The first one is Connect to Emacs. When you press Connect to Emacs, you will get an email address and password box where you put in those details you were given earlier. You press next, it gives you a list of all the sites around the world that you can see. You double click it and then it opens up a session into that SP Pro inverter, wherever that inverter is. You don't have to be beside it, it can be anywhere in the world. It automatically connects to the inverter and downloads a configuration file. In this case we logged on to an SP Pro inverter with three phases using the new multi-phase setup and it's downloading the file for you. While this is happening, we're still uploading data to our, to our server. So all of the data, all of the recordings of voltage and energy, etc. are still being recorded on the RBO server. I can go in here and do a quick view. In this case, I've got live, live phase number one. And you, can't, and you can view different phases up here. So if I go to, say, data view, I can press connection, select phase, and choose a different phase and see what's happening on that phase. This is all happening over the internet. When I've finished programming, I go into configuration settings, make my changes and then press configure SP Pro, put in the password and away we go. You can open up another session as well, so you can launch SP Link again and open up another inverter if you wanted to compare two sites together, or if you had multiple um, inverters on one site which were um, using the old comms cards, then you can connect to each inverter individually. So an example of that is, here's another session running here, and I can connect to this one. So I'm logging into another site in another part of the country at the same time as I'm logged into this one in one other part of the country. Once I've finished all of my programming, I can go in to the browser and I can look at different sites. So I can look at my Emacs. I can um, go to a dashboard and view different sites here. I can zoom in and see last week. I can turn metrics on and off if I don't want to see them. And I can zoom in on a particular day. All of these graphs are individually configurable as well. I can go in and configure my own graphs here. And I can add and delete users, etc. As you'd expect. Once that's all done, you can set up your customer's uh, iPhone. So you just go to your phone, download a program called Open Hub, which it tells you how to do on the instruction guide, put your remote URL in, your email and password again, press save, and you'll end up with a login to your inverter like this. You can turn on and off the relays in the inverter, you can turn on and off priorities. For example, we've got storm mode set up here where you can tell it to charge the battery uh, in anticipation of a blackout, uh, because you know a storm's coming. 
you can look at energy graphs and voltage and you can view data on the SP Pro directly. Here's an example of a graph you can see, much like the web browser. Another one. And here you're seeing the individual metrics coming out of the SP Pro, which are live values. Here you can see the lights in the front of the inverter as they would appear if you were standing beside it. And here's some values being displayed. So all in all, the Emacs allows you to remotely view and configure an SP Pro remotely. And uh, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Thank you.